Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing a haul. So yeah, let's just get into it. My mom's been like out looking for like cleansers and stuff and I actually ran out of my cleanser, my facial cleanser. And so I was, you know, I've heard good things about the Cetaphil daily facial cleanser. And um, we got the normal to oily skin. We actually went to get the normal to dry skin because both of us have dry skin. And with that also, we bought the Cetaphil daily moisturizer. I don't know, like, I think a lot of people get like the daily moisturizer that is like in the big tube, like the moisturizer that's in the big, this big tube, but we got the daily facial moisturizer. The daily facial moisturizer. And this has um, broad, broad spectrum SPF 15. And also I got, um, drop that. Anyways, I got the Queen Helen Mint Julep Mask and it smells like mints. Like, it smells like that gum, the, um, I can't think of it, but it's the, the mint gum. It's amazing. And my last skincare is the Clean and Clear Prusa Gel Tin and it's 10% um, benzoyl peroxide and it just comes in like this little bottle. Packaging looks like this. But anyway, but I'm excited to really see like how much if it works better than the I like the the clean and clear uh, spot treatment and it burns my face. I got the Goody Tangle Fix um, gently removes tough tangles with ease. It just looks like that. Um, oh, I actually have one, but mine's kind of like some of the bristles, like little by little, like. The bristles will like start to like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but like the bristles will move and everything, like I mean obviously they move, but like they'll start to bend and they won't like bend back to their normal shape and they break off and anyways. And at Walgreens they were buy one get one free and my mom absolutely loves these and she constantly steals mine and leaves them in the bathroom so I thought I would buy me one and give her the other one. So kind of just, yeah. I, lo I love these by the way. like. They're amazing. Like, I don't know. I, I really want to try the wet brushes, but I'm kind of scared to buy the wet brushes. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Just, yeah. Just so, I really like these. I mean, the next thing I got for hair care was the Kukui. I think I think that's what it is. Kukui oil. Um, oh, yeah. By Organics. Um, it's a hydrating deep frizz. Kukui oil. Frizz defining um, curl cream. By organics, like I just said. Um, it just looks like that. And then the next thing is this is actually a repurchase, the anti breakage keratin oil from organics, also. And I love, and it's actually already in my, my favorites, favorites and everything. And I love this stuff. It's like anti breakage, you know. And it's kind of a detangler, also. I love this stuff. It's like heavenly. Amazing stuff right there. Yeah. Next thing I got was um, also from organics. It was the Mor Moroccan Sea Salt Spray, and just for summer, you know, obviously sea salt. Um, I don't really, I lost the cap though. <laughs> I lose caps all the time, like, I'll open it to smell it. Oh, and by the way, it smells amazing. Um, it, I don't know, it's amazing. It's like an ocean, the ocean in a bottle, kind of, but not as oceany. It's a little, like, less oceany, but I really like it. Um, Again, like I said, I lose the caps. I don't know. I lose caps. It's, I don't like it. I wish I had caps, but I lose them all the time. Oh snap! But anyways, um, anyways, if so, I'm excited to try this. Hopefully, it's made. I know this isn't like brand new, but I'm kind of excited to try it. It's and I, it's the um, um, Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, and I'm super duper excited to try this. Um. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a first impressions or a re just a review on this stuff or I just might like open this up soon and try it but I'm excited it's it's like killing me inside not to open this and try it at least feel how it feels but yeah um <clears throat> I'm excited it's supposed to instantly it says instantly blurs the looks of look of pores without clogging them transparent gel formula clear or smooth or smooth Smooths on clear, smooths and refines skin apparent and fragrance free. You can use it says use alone or under makeup. Use alone for flawless looking skin, smooth, smoothing out, smoothing onto areas with visible pores, or smooth a thin layer under foundation for a smooth finish, smooth looking finish. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. 
Um, I've looked at some of the reviews and I don't know, I'm really excited to try it. The next thing I got was the, I got the Maybelline Dream Cure BB, um, with 2% Cyrillic, sil I can't even say, whatever, I'll just leave it on the bottom down here. Anyways, um, acid and it's in medium sheer tint and it's brand new. I'm really excited. I'm kind of debating if I want to do a first impressions or a review. So just leave it in the bottom if you guys want a first impressions or a review, which one you guys want. I'm excited to try this. Um, but yeah, it, um, yeah, because I have the normal Dream BB, but like, this is supposed to be like, you know, help with acne, um, and I do have acne breakouts, probably like, to me it's a lot, but to others it's not, I mean, but I thought with the summer I break out more, so I thought this would be something good for the summer. And plus, I don't like to wear a lot of makeup during the summer. And yeah, and let me just tell you, I love this packaging. <clears throat> I love, like, it's like a pretty matte finish with, like, the blue. I don't know. I like it. I like it better than the other one, the just the normal one that's pink and it's kind of glossy. I don't know. I really like this one. So hopefully, I like this. But yeah, also, like I said, just leave um, a comment down below telling me if you guys want a review or first impressions or what. Or whatever. Then the next thing I got... Um, was the NYX Dark Circle Concealer and so smart me I'm at Ulta and you know looking at the NYX stuff and they have like all the little they had actually like it looks like this by the way um they had like testers out like all along and you know you could look at them and like so I swatched a little bit on my hands and the color the shade below this was actually didn't look like and this is supposed to be by the way like an orange pigment with China Clay and like um it looked it didn't look like it had a lot of orange it was just kind of like a plain skin color but I like to really hi like highlight in my under eyes and stuff too but it didn't look at all like um orangey it just looked like a normal skin color so I was like you know that's I don't think that's gonna help that you know whatever so I got this one and when I got home I was looking at it and I found the shade on the bottom and it was in 03 medium and I'm like wow if I would have known this I would have gotten the light the one the shade below it but I don't know I oh yeah and by the way it's uh, China clay which is a tiny light reflecting particles that per uh, perfect 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 there we go oh, perfect oh my gosh what am I doing okay anyways orange pigment uh, cancels out blue of the dark circles so yes that is what that looks like um then the next thing I got from actually NYX was the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And I have a lot of like redness like on my cheeks and everything around my nose like most people do. And um, I thought this would be really nice because I know most BB creams don't like conceal that well. So I thought maybe if I get this, you know, did a little bit of the green, you know, put a little bit of the green, kind of blended it in really good and then put that over, it would help. So I got this lovely thing and I did swatch it on my hand. I, and this stuff is like, I don't know, like neon green. Like, it is neon green. Like, it is ridiculous. It is really green. But anyways, um, I think it'll work. I hope it works. I've heard a lot of things, um, good and bad things about the NYX HD Photogenic Concealers. I haven't really heard many about, like, the color correcting ones. But, yeah, hopefully this one works. Um, and obviously I got mine in, I think it's just green. I think it is. CW12 in green. Yeah. I got the Mali Perfect Prep under under eye brightener and um in the shade lighter. And it looks like that. <clears throat> and um it's just a yellow under eye brightener. And when I was at Ulta, the lady helped me, um, because I was, you know, because I have really bad dark circles, and I'm just trying to find something that's kind of like, you know, really not like, he like heavy, but has full coverage, and that's kind of hard to find. And I've like tried a lot of drugstores, and I don't know, I'm just tired of trying drugstores because I can never find one that I actually like. And, um, so she tried, you know, there's only two shades, it's lighter and probably light. And this is what it looks like, and it's kind of cute. I mean, it's got like a matte 
a glass bottle and then like a pinky, like a light purple. Yeah, and then it's just got Maui written on here. I don't know if you guys are able to see that, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> and she recommended, she said this was new and that, you know, you know, it's supposed to help cancel out the blue and purple undertones, which are like purple, the blue and purple, like, you know, under your eyes. And I thought always orange. Um, I'm thinking more this is like brightening stuff. And when she put it under my eyes, it did like really brighten your eyes. You, I think like in a little bit goes like a long way. Like you barely need anything. So I think this will last me a long time. And it did brighten my eyes. Um, I haven't really tried it since I got it, but yeah, I'm excited to try that. Like, you know, really try it out a lot. <clears throat> oh, and then also with the purchase of that, I got the free Mali volumizing ma mascara and I actually in color black black and um the wand just looks like this nothing fancy or anything the next thing i got was from it cosmetics bye bye under eye it was also when i get the mally stuff um and i got mine in neutral medium again she she tested it out when i was there and it is actually really like it doesn't feel heavy and it's got like a it's like a natural finish, which I kind of like. I mean, because I don't want something, yeah. Um, I haven't, you know, really tried this much, but the little bit I have, I do like it. Um, also with um, a free, like, gift with purchase kind of thing, I got the, also, it's the Bye Bye Under Eye also, and, but it's in color light. And I did actually use this on some people when I did their prom makeup. And it's just a little tiny bottle like that. And, um, yeah, it matched them perfectly, you know, and they are kind of lighter than me. So obviously I used the light and I liked it on them. It they didn't say anything bad about it. I mean it really did help, you know, cover their imperfections, you know, their like you know, their dark circles and everything. And yeah, I like that. Um was the hard candy um contouring face trio. And we got well she thought she got because I was at work when she bought these and she thought she got the four colors because uh, you know they're all like, you know, lined up beside each other and they were all from it like a diff you know what I'm saying, like, I don't know if you guys know what I'm saying, but like they were side by side kind of thing. And they just look like this, as you probably just saw. Um, try to hold up all of these suckers. See how talented I am before. Okay, anyways. So these are what uh, the four look like. Um, yeah. And she actually got the got three shades I think there is four I'm not for sure I, have no, I didn't check and I don't know but she got uh, three strikes which is this color oh my gosh this is so pretty like this is probably one of my fa the, my favorite one and like the matte or the, the matte the bronzer isn't matte but it's not like shimmery it's kind of like a satin finish so it's really like a healthy looking it's not like you know what I mean it's not it looks like it's natural and then the blush blush and highlighter the highlighter is more of a pinky tone, and the blush is really pretty. Um, the only thing I have to say about these, I mean, again, I didn't have not worn them, I just swatched them. But the only thing I have to say is, like, the highlighters all seem to be alike, which is weird, but whatever. Except, uh, Three Strikes. Three Strikes is the only one that's got a pink undertone, the other ones have, like, a beige, beige undertone. And then the other one we got was Three Times a Lady, and it just looks like that. And, um, again, bronzer, it's got, like, a satiny finish. It's not, like, actually, like, shimmery like these are. Because the blushes and highlighters are kind of shimmery. But this one, the bronzers are, like, kind of like a matte, like a satin finish. Um, obviously, if, you know, you get your brush and the highlighter, the blush part, you know, you're going to pick up some of that, like, shimmer. But I think they're good sizes. Like, I think you can get your brush into those without hitting the other you know, hitting, you know, getting your brush into the bronzer without getting it into the highlighter or, or blush. Um, but yeah. Um, and then the next one she got was Three Times the Lady, and she actually got, oh, oh, well, wait. This one's Three Times the Lady, and this one's also Three Times the Lady, and to me, they look completely different. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like the reds are completely, to me, the blushes are completely different. Like, I don't know. I think they are completely different. And when I swatched them, because I didn't check, Oh, hey, sassy girl. I didn't, like, look and see if, um, they were the same color, if they were the same color and stuff. And when I did them, like, when I swatched them, they looked, I didn't see anything. And out of all the swatches, none of them looked alike, except, like I said, the highlighters. 
and yeah so yeah and this bronzer to me like actually looks a little bit lighter than this one so maybe it's just because they're baked I don't know but I'm gonna just keep them because yeah anyways then the next thing next color was three times a charm and it just looks like that I don't like this blush I absolutely hate it it's on like the red tone when I swatched it and so I mean I like everything else but just the blush maybe like if you swirl it all together it'll be less um like red I guess but yeah so that, that that's these I'll leave all the products I've got in the color shades and everything down below and I'll leave links for them where you can find them and yeah so I hope um hope you guys enjoy this video please like and subscribe and yeah comment down below so bye guys